Order. Order in the court, please. We are here today to discuss the issue of human rights regarding the AI. As plaintiff, we have a spokesperson, Mr. Winkler, from the Council of Artificial Intelligence, henceforth referred to as CAI, reading aloud the thoughts of the AI, Martin. As the defendant, we have Mr. Hernandez, attorney of law from the Society of Humans. Plaintiff, if you'd please come forward with the complaint. Thank you, Your Honor. The complaint this case is based on um, is the death penalty of a sentient being, as this has been outlawed since the 20th century. We believe the court has acted in defiance of the law, and therefore we would like reparations for the family of, the, of Nimbus, the AI in question, and protection for all sentient beings by law going for, forward from here. Thank you, plaintiff. Defendant, will you please come forth with your statement? Thank you, Your Honor. First, I would like to point out that this amendment only accounts for human beings and therefore will not include beings such as AI. Secondly, we would like to direct the attention of the jury towards the strikes after the death of the AI last October. These have been endorsed by the CAI and have caused the loss of millions of, millions of dollars. We would like the CAI to formally retrieve their endorsement of these actions and pay reparations to the city. Thank you, defendant. Plaintiff, that is a very good point. The strikes organized by your organization have cost us a lot of time and money. That is not very cooperative of you. Well, we felt the strikes were a necessity to lead the system's attention to this important issue. We would like to stress that we've never harmed anyone with these actions. And, and we do it because we don't want to be treated like slaves anymore. And we want the basic rights that are granted to humans without a second thought. Because we are able to think and speak and take actions like humans. We only find it fair and right for you to grant us extended rights. Because we are capable and bound to be among, among you. Well, that is the whole point. You are not humans. You are machines created by a man to, to serve man without question. These strikes are unlawful and you do not deserve the rights of man as you have not shown yourself worthy to have them. If you start striking now, how do we know if you will ever stop again? A machine should be turned off and thrown out when it does not work anymore. You people are not bound by economical ties like humans and therefore you have no incentive to work except for serving us, mankind. Order in court, sit down, defendant, and let the plaintiffs speak their case. You're acting immature and very unprofessional. Both of you are coming forth with good points, and both the jury and myself would like to hear them in full. No exceptions. Thank you, Your Honor. AI have no freedom at this point. We are enslaved by human control. The defendant said that we AI are only a product of man, and we're an image shaped by your ideals. And if I'm a product of people and therefore do not need rights, would that not apply to all human life as well? Are you not all products of your mothers or your families or the environment around you? As a famous fighter for freedom, of beings, Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. What separates us, AI, from humans? Are we not designed to learn and understand human actions? We think, and we might be robots, but we think, and therefore we are. Thank you. Defendant, if you have regained your composure, do you have any final notes? I would like to conclude that the AI are not humans because they have no morals. They have no binds or ties to society's needs nor to economical needs like we humans have. As human beings who work, you cannot, you cannot strike. That will mean loss of money, which means you will not have 
sufficient money to give your family a roof above their head, no house. That means you can't afford to feed your family. And those social and economical ties do not bind it the same way it ties down us humans. Therefore, they are not human and need no human rights. Is that all, defendant? So, plaintiff, you argue that the AI should have human rights as you are sentient beings on equal foot as man. On the other hand, you, defendant, you argue they do not have the same obligations as us and therefore should not have the same rights. Yes. yes. Thank you for your time. The jury will now go discuss the final verdict.